back at this property in Mikulam today that I have inspected a few months ago. The home is only a few months old and the builder has failed to rectify the defects that I have identified in my report previously. The owner has engaged a lawyer and has taken legal action. Let's go inside and see what's going on here. So this is the door lock that was changed. They got the locksmith and they gained entry to the garage area because the front door lock is a Samsung smart lock and it was pretty hard to hack. So let's go. So this is a single story brick veneer home with a tile roof. Nothing has changed since my last visit. Stay tuned for some body cam footage. All right, let's go. The Guide to Standards and Tolerances, Clause 8.08, .08, states that building sites are defective if they are not clear of building debris. Another common defect that I have been seeing lately is that the multi-layer piping must be protected from direct sunlight as per AS5601.1 Clause 5.14. I really do wonder what the story is with this builder. These broken roof tiles have been sitting here for a while. It was evident that building debris was left all over the job site. The hot water surface was missing. Weep holes must be free from any mortar or other material that will prevent their proper functioning. This is a breach of AS 3700 masonry structures, clause 12.4.14. AS 2870 states that surface drainage shall be controlled during the site preparation and construction. These split masonry units that are sitting on the base cores of this masonry wall are defective if they are left exposed. And the incorrect class screws are still being used externally. Let's do a quick inspection of the roofing works. These rain heads are definitely non-compliant. The overflow weir of the rain head must be sized as per AS3500.3 and be fully open above the weir at the front of the rain head. The National Construction Codes Clause 3.5.4.8 states that the top of the capping must slope a minimum of 5 degrees and the box cutters must be sealed to the rain heads as per AS 3500.3 Clause 3.7.6. Joints in flashings and cappings are to be fastened at intervals not exceeding 40 mil. This is a breach of HB39 clause 5.8.3. Take a look at this roof, how the box cutter changes direction. AS3500.3 clearly states that box cutters shall be straight without change in direction. This whole roof area may need to be reconstructed. The barge and valley tiles are to be fixed 
as per clause 3.5.2.2 of the National Construction Codes. Four fixing options are galvanized clout nails, self-embedding head screws, purpose-made clips, or flexible pointing material. All right, let's go in. Surfaces, fixtures and fittings should be checked to ensure that they have been masked and that all paint spills or stains have been removed. This is a breach of AS2311 section C4. Cabinet door and drawer fronts are defective if they are not aligned or do not have consistent gaps between them at handover and can be seen from a normal viewing position. This is a breach of the Guide to Standards and Tolerances, Clause 10.04. The homeowners are entitled to expect that the building site and works are clean and tidy on completion. And it appears that this painter has actually done his best and left the rest. The tops and bottoms of all doors must be sealed unless documented otherwise gaps between mouldings or between mouldings and other fixtures at mitre or butt joints or at junctions with a wall or other surface are defective if they exist at handover. This is a breach of clause 10.01 of the VBA Guide to Standards and Tolerances and bowed walls were common throughout this property. I could smell non-compliant works to these bathrooms. And I'm not sure what this pole is doing here. We can quickly see that this bathroom contains a shower that is enclosed. This means a water stop must be installed underneath this channel to separate the shower area from the wet area. This shower has been running for around 10 minutes and water is already exiting the shower area and the homeowner hasn't moved in yet. By inserting my ruler underneath the aluminium channel it reveals that a water stop is not installed since it would have been intercepted by the water stop. After removing silicon around the vanity unit, I could see that there is water already ponding underneath the tiles. This is a breach of AS3740 A2 where it states Water may penetrate wall and floor finishes in wet areas depending on the frequency, the intensity and the length of time these surfaces are exposed to water. If not intercepted, water may damage the moisture sensitive materials laying beneath. It also appears that the common bathroom is also non-compliant since the water stops are not installed as per AS3740. Also, now that I have exposed the door frame, I could see that the water stop is not connected to the perimeter flashing and also the door jam is embedded in the tiles and has not been waterproofed. Get ready to see the body cam footage of my encounter with this builder. Here is there an aluminium angle inside between that and that tile. 
Because th is this the same tile? Yeah, this is the same tile that comes here, yeah? Yes. Same face. Same tile? Yeah, same face. No small piece. Yeah, because if, if it is the same tile here, it, it's, it's non compliant. Okay. Why? Uh, because because what's going to happen here, like, are, are, these, are these arcs embedded? No, they're not embedded. You, you've cut on top. Here, here, you haven't cut on top. This one goes under the tile, yeah? This goes under the tile, mm -hmm. and this doesn't go under the tile. You cut it, which is really good. Uh, but what's going to happen after a couple of months, um, uh, when they have a shower here, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, the water goes under the tiles, yeah, which is okay, yeah? That's why you have a paddle flange there, mm -hmm. which is, you've done the right thing there. Yeah. When the water goes under the tiles, um, uh, it starts going to where it's dry, the glue, the tile glue. It keeps coming, 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 coming. And then when it comes here, see this aluminium angle? I'm not sure how you install this, but this is supposed to be called a water stop. When the water under the tiles comes here, this is going to drink it, and then this is going to become big. It's going to swell. It's going to drink it. Have you seen that before? Probably seen it on one of your jobs. That's from the water pressure. Last few months, few months ago, I go to my customer. This guy, he do the waterproof, yeah. He, he he's done non-compliant yeah. waterproofing. You have to get this right yeah, back. Yeah, look here. What company is it? What's his name? No, no, no. waterproofing is done. Why? Why? How can you say not no waterproofing? It's it's non-compliant. Because because there's no there's no aluminium. I can't see the aluminium here. This see this is here. The, 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 this one, the one here, mm -hmm. and then one here. You have to see it. I'll show you how it looks like on the Australian stand here. Look. But we're not gonna uninstall this shower and uninstall the tiles and things like that. You know what I mean now? Yes. Yeah, so look. You know? Yes. We not intend to do that now here. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Here, have a look at this. So. Uh, so like, just say what that. will you stay here? What will you put? So I, I have to say like. You know, I, I couldn't see an aluminium angle. This is the Australian standard, what it says, and, and that's it. Aluminium angle uh, just next to the shower. Yeah. Mm. But we have, we have flange. Flange. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit lift and go there. Um, this way. Plus, you get it? I know, look. This aluminium angle is after what waterproof he's doing. No, no, the waterproof, he do it. He has to waterproof on it and up. He has to waterproof on the aluminium and up. When, how long do we wait in water there? Stay under the tile. No, no, I, I'm trying to understand. Uh, With the aluminium angle, yeah. you can't put above here. It's going to look ugly. Where does it go? If, if it finishes flush with here, flush. You see, you have to see it, aluminium. No, 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 no. If you're going to use frame like this, it goes five mil, and then this goes on top of it. Or you can do like I showed you here. This is this is the shower area here. Mm -hmm. There, the waterproof come here and all the way up. Yeah, and then this goes on top of it, like this. This this is one option. The second option is is like this, where um, it goes up. It finishes flush with the the, the orange is a tile. Mm -hmm. It finishes flush with it, and then another one goes on top. And this is the shower area. See, the water goes, this is the cement inside, the mm -hmm. screen and all that. Water goes inside here. It can't go there because it's a wall. I know it's hard to understand that, but the water, the, the waterproofer has to do that, not you. I'm DPU, I can actually do 